Hello and welcome to Sweet TV. In this video I'm going to cover a very real problem for anyone who has an appliance that burns. Uh, by that I mean a wood burner, multi-fuel stove, an open fire, a range cooker such as an Arga or a Rayburn that runs on oil or gas or solid fuel, even your, your boiler, your combi boiler or gas fire. All of these appliances burn. Now with, with that you can have incomplete combustion and that produces carbon monoxide, which I'm sure you will have heard of, and it's potentially lethal. So the, the trouble with carbon monoxide is it's very, very difficult to detect, and that's why it's responsible for an increasing number of deaths uh, in the UK and serious poisonings. Um, the way that it, it, it affects you, uh, in, obviously haemoglobin you will, will be aware of in your blood. Now the job of haemoglobin is to carry oxygen in your bloodstream to all the cells and various parts of the body that need it. Carbon monoxide attaches itself to the haemoglobin and then blocks the oxygen from attaching itself. So essentially it's, it's starving the body of oxygen. Uh, symptoms are very similar to flu. It almost mimics flu symptoms. So there are nausea, headaches, vomiting, dizziness, um, confusion. All these things are, are quite common with carbon monoxide. Um, the other thing that it can do is build up over time. So it can be that you're being exposed to small doses of it over several hours or weeks or days or you get a very high dose very quickly um, the effects of, of either situation will be ultimately can result in death so it is very very serious um, the thing with carbon monoxide is it's very difficult to detect because you can't see it you can't smell it you can't taste it so it's very very difficult to, to know if this is happening to you um, best thing you can do is to have a carbon monoxide detector um, I've got one here which I keep on my mantelpiece, obviously near the stove. Uh, it's electronic and it is um, purely to detect carbon monoxide. Uh, you get smoke alarms, don't confuse those with carbon monoxide detectors because they, they do a very different job uh, and need to be in, in different locations. So ideally with a carbon monoxide detector, you want to have it somewhere near the appliance that's burning, in this case the stove. I keep mine up here on the mantelpiece uh, and that will give me a very distinctive beep to alert me if there is any carbon monoxide present at which point I can shut down my stove, open all the windows and, and get out. Um, now, because it does mimic flu symptoms, you may think that you, you're ill through natural or viral um, causes. So uh, a good thing to do, if, if any of your family, you know, children, and, and if there's more than one of you experiencing it, then it's a, a very real possibility. So um, definitely get it checked out. If you have a stove that's been installed within the last few years, it is now regulation to have a, a smoke detector fitted. So your installer, if he has approved, will do this as a matter of course. Um, but if it obviously was done by someone who wasn't heat has approved or who wasn't aware or it's an older installation, there may not be an alarm present or a detector. So it's something to definitely check. If you don't have one, then strongly recommend that you do get one. And one for each of your appliances uh, in, in the room that the appliance is in, situated fairly close. Um, if you have any other questions, then please feel free to get in touch with me. The number's on the website, and I hope that's helpful. But just a final word, don't take any chances with it, because it is very, very, very serious and lethal.